Okay, guys, so just before we print, we need to be careful about a few things. Here's my document. It's set at A3. I'm going to come in here and make sure my guides are set up. You should actually do this before you start printing and right when you start a document. So come in here. See, I've moved that to zero. The cross here, that's at one and that's at one. So I've got my guides here and I can be moving guides down like that. You need to set them up in both corners. So do that corner and then come down to the other corner. Same thing. Set it up in the other corner. Move your crosshairs in. Just check out how you set up. See that one's there? I want it on one, which is over here. This You have to be careful when you're setting them up that it's the same. So I actually want this on one. I've zoomed in so far, it's going into millimeters. So check it out and have a look. Make sure it's the same all the way around. Yes, that's roughly the same all the way around. Now, that's my printable area. You can go further than that, but we'll just be nice and clear. And so I see that object. I don't want that there. For example, if this object was over here, I now have a problem. It's not going to print that bit. So I'm going to move it across and get it set in there. So then I have my page set. Now you can, if you find your things are overlapping, like they're over here, you've got a problem. You need to move things around or select everything, group it and reduce. Now notice I've got a problem here that my guides are highlighting. So I can go into guides here and go lock guides. That locks the guides and now when I make a selection I'm going to move that out of the way that's not part of my selection I want that away I'm going to come in here and select all these things in the middle they're all selected see this is hanging off the bottom so I can control group and just pull it into the middle now if I want it exactly in the middle I might not use the align tool again see I've got them there that's my group there but it's not quite in the middle, is it? See, I've got this whole group, but it's not. I'm not sure if it's exactly in the middle. Nice tool to use. Come over here, use your align tool. See this align to down here? Align to artboard. See the bottom down here? Not to the selection, but to the artboard. And then go like this. Center. And that way. See it move a little bit? It's now centered exactly in the middle. You need to make sure that the outside of this selection. See down here, we've got a lot of negative space down here. So we might want to, by eye, move that around a little bit. We're now ready to print. Anyway, we've got our object set here. We've got it ready. That's how I want it to print. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to press print. Now, there's a few things when you press print. We need to make sure this here is set to A3. Most of the things we're printing here is on A3, so I'd set that to A3. I see over here the shape's not the same, is it? So that my document was not at A3 originally. Now, I need to do something else. Because it's going to default to black and white, we need to come over here and go to setup. See the setup button? Click on that. Just go continue. And now we have some other options. So we want to then click on preferences. And see this black and white? We now need to change that to color. So what we're doing here is we're working with the printer, not Illustrator or Photoshop. We need to go in here and make sure we're changing that. Keep this on one sided. Don't worry about collated, but this output needs to change to color and then OK and now I'm ready to print print and print and it should be good and we're waiting for it to print down here now my page is ready to print okay that's it remember to print all of your documents before Monday